Welcome back, Guardians, to another edition of Become Legend. This Crucible episode is covering how to use grenades effectively and efficiently, demonstrating how to stop wasting grenades and how to make the best use of them. I'm going to group grenades into certain categories and classifications based on what they should be used for. These groups include killing grenades, harassment grenades, and area denial grenades. Let's start by talking about discipline and how it affects your grenade cooldown. Obviously, the higher tier the better, but did you know you lower the cooldown more the higher you go? You only save 5 seconds going from tier 0 to tier 1, or from tier 4 to tier 5, you save a whopping 9 seconds. Let's shift over to grenade types and examples. This first type I'll cover is what I call a killing grenade. As the name suggests, these grenades are used to directly kill your opponent. Missing with them usually provides nothing much in the way of denial or harassment, but a direct hit will kill the opponent. In this quick clip, you'll see my friend Fast Pony winging around because of a great fusion toss. So let's get into what other types of killing grenades there are. There's a flux grenade, a fusion, a magnetic grenade, which detonates twice, a scatter grenade, and an incendiary grenade which only hits for 170, but ticks for enough damage to get a kill. Here's another clip of Fast Pony using the fusion defensively. He gets killed, but he has low health, so he backs up and tosses the grenade on a somewhat predictable rush here. Grenades go through juggernaut shields. This is a great display of how to stop shotgun rushers. Uh, final clip of Fast Pony being aggressive here. He slides in and throws a nice fusion, but he gets gunned down. Normally you want to throw from cover, so on his second go around, he makes a great throw and backs into cover immediately. The next type of grenade is what I call a harassment grenade. This grenade is good for leading into an engagement or cleaning up a kill, but in general will not kill the enemy by itself. These grenades are typically very annoying for the enemy to deal with. Let's go over some harassment grenades. You have the arc bolt grenade, the axiom bolt, which chases enemies. Here's a demonstration of how you can dodge an axiom bolt. You slide at the right time and you take hardly any damage. A fireball grenade, similar to the arc bolt. Skip grenades, which chase like axions, but it's kind of harder to avoid them. And lastly, a suppressor grenade. This grenade will tag you and suppress your abilities for a 10 whole seconds. You won't be able to double jump, use ability, melee, grenade, super. They're rough. In this first clip here, this is a skip grenade that I'm using to weaken the enemy. I make a call out and Clobin is able to clean it up for me. Next, I'm able to read an enemy uh, using the radar to see that he's down the hall, and I use the skip grenade to weaken him and follow up with a primary to secure the kill. This last clip here features my buddy Mr. Blunt. He's in a primary battle and uses his Axion to secure the kill while backing off into cover. The final type of grenade that I wanted to discuss are those that deny players to an area or else they will die from it. These grenades are called Area Denial Grenades. They last for a period of time normally, and some attached to walls. They can be shot down by the enemy. As you can see here, Clil Benton uses a great spike grenade to deny the enemy from pushing while I get rezzed, and we're able to 3v1 the final enemy down. Now let's cover the numerous Area Denial Grenades. Starting with the Lightning Grenade, which takes 4 times for 122 damage. It's one of my favorite grenades. A pulse grenade, which only ticks for about 60 damage, you need all pulses to kill. A solar grenade, which is enough to kill an enemy if they stay in it. A storm grenade, which is only enough to get an enemy absolute. A spike grenade, which ticks for a lot of damage very quickly. The swarm grenade, which sits out in the open, visible to enemies as they try to cross through. A thermite grenade, somewhat similar to a pulse in that all ticks are required to kill the enemy. A trip mine, which deals 188 damage. A void wall, which will kill an enemy who stands in it. And lastly, the vortex, which will kill an enemy similar to the solar grenade. In this clip, I'm trying to snipe a couple enemies during Trials of Osiris on Asylum. My buddy makes a call out though that we're getting flanked. So we immediately wombo combo the area and are able to get a kill because of it. This next clip is basically to show you how area denial grenades work. 
Uh, the initial void pushes the enemy out. And if you look, there's nobody near heavy because there's so many grenades that are just ticking nearby. Nobody can enter the area. This final clip, I'm just chasing an enemy. I have him weak, so I throw a lightning grenade to stop him from running in one direction. I was gonna push the other way, but he ends up running into the grenade and I get the kill. Before we end, let's go over a couple clips of what a bad grenade throw looks like. Watch this clip. Body going into B. What was I thinking? The initial shot's good, but why do I follow up with a grenade that has no chance of killing? An Axion or a Skip might have done the job, but not a Void Wall. This is a wasted grenade, and a lot of bad players do this. One final clip on Excess Blue. See if you can spot my bad throws. Yeah, at least one, let's see on me. I got him on radar here. I got hit pretty good. I mean, Cubby, they're just eating it. He's like jumping to try to stay alive. All right, so the first thing I do that's bad is I misread the radar and just waste a grenade. I didn't hit anybody. I didn't stop anybody from rushing me. I'm peeking with my sniper rifle. Probably a good idea. But then I stop peeking and I challenge with a smoke? What am I thinking? Now I'm tagged pretty hard and I'm running for my life, I'm trying to support my friends who are trying to engage. Luckily I get my grenades back here, and I redeem myself with a nice wombo combo in a predictable spot. Thanks for watching Guardians, that's going to do it for this edition of Become Legend, a Crucible edition covering how to use grenades effectively.